Hello visuals and welcome back to another edition of the Visual Guys podcast. Another solo run visuals. I am so sorry about these solo runs because you probably are fucking sick of it visuals. But but this time around, it's not like a, a planned thing. I didn't know this was going to happen. I don't know where Chris is. I can't get a hold of him. Message him. Divent now. He's lost. He's uh, he's probably, um, I don't know, he's probably walking, walking around in a circle somewhere just going, I don't know where the fuck I am. He's, uh, he's, a, he's a bit out of there. Um, no, I don't know. He's probably just really busy or dealing with family stuff. He has a rather large family and uh, he does a lot for people. So he's probably just extremely buzzy. But uh, yeah, you got another solo edition of Miss Marvel. Spoiler heavy review. This time it's for episode four. Don't know what that accent is. Uh, as I'm... Um, Sorry, I've just recently got my newest comics visuals, right? And off get, get Ready Comics. Shout out Get Ready Comics. And I've got like a card full of like uh, loads of pop culture characters. And you've got to guess who's who. Uh, and there's quite a few actually, to be fair. Like, there's a couple that I actually have no idea who they are. But on the back, luckily, um, it tells you who. Um, but it's... Uh, so I'm, I'm, I'm sidetracked myself. Um, there's people like Rocky, E.T., James Bond, Schloff, Betelgeuse, Yoda, uh, the Dominator... Uh, Gizmo, one of the little fucking what are they called from the fucking the thing. That's it from the yeah. The, it's just called the thing, isn't it? Uh, ha, ha, uh, Harry from uh, I'm Alone. Oh, we, we got like, yeah. Anyway, you're ready to talk about that because you can't see the card. It is Miss Marvel episode four. Spoiler every review. And to be fair, because my notes are getting shorter and shorter this week. Uh, it, it might just be down to a case of because Miss Marvel's not one of my main focuses in in comics, even though I do really like her. Uh, and I'm just missing stuff or, or what. So if there is anything I, I have missed, which is probably is a lot, let me know in the comments below because uh, I'd like to know uh, a lot because, yeah, thank you. <laughs> I don't know what that was. I'm also looking as well. All the Peacemaker Funko Pops coming out and I bought the whole lot. Uh, that's why I'm always broke. And I'm looking at just Peacemaker, aka John Cena, just naked. Well, he's not naked. He's got his boxes on and his helmet on. I'm just quite literally looking at his six-pack. A Funko Pop six-pack because I'm a freaking idiot. Anyway, should we get on with it, visuals? Um, let's do the note notes first and we'll talk about how this uh, episode uh, changed us as human beings. Uh, but straight away, the first thing we need to mention is her trip to Karachi is, um, I know for a fact, it's directly from the comics because they're comics that I have read. Uh, also, we have another QR code. Uh, so we're Easter egging and piggybacking off... Uh, Moon Knight. I wonder if there's uh, QR codes in the other shows, but nobody's noticed. Like, you know, the Falcon with his old draw, Loki or some shit. Uh, but we, we do get a QR code, and it's for uh, Miss Marvel, issue 12. And the um, way you get it is, is when she gets stopped, you know, the guy's like, do you want a photo? And then she, it's, it's on his, like, little board thing. So you can uh, check out the QR code there. We have another Ant-Man mural at the train station. Uh, Ant-Man has been very prominent, just despite... Her being in love with, um, well, not in love, but, you know, loves in, uh, she loves Captain Marvel. Ant-Man's been everywhere. We've talked about the Scott Lang podcast and whatnot. And there's a big mural of him in, in, in this as well. It's quite cool as well, because remember, he was, he was featured in the Hawkeye show, uh, in the in the show. And everyone thought he was at the Battle of New York, but he was just very, very small. So he's uh, he's getting out there again. The Red Daggers, uh, all I've literally written is, yeah, Red Daggers, they come from the comics. <laughs> That's literally it. Um we get to see the Nor dimension. Well, we'd not see it, but like see it on like a a, a bat cave version of the the Red Dagger's own very own bat cave sort of looking place. Uh, and we get to see like this sort of little computerized tech thingy of the Nor dimension. And finally, the last thing I've got uh, is um, the uh, the fact that her costume. Uh, you probably all notice as well, visual. Her costume. This is the sound of my notes getting scrubbed. By the way. Her costume is slowly coming together. It's finally becoming one. We got the, um, she got the blue cardigan before. She had, like, the red jumper or whatever on. And then, like, the blue cardigan over the top. And, obviously, we know the classic blue with the with the bolt in the middle and then the red arms. That's our com classic Kamala Khan look. Uh, and we're slowly, slowly getting there with the colour schemes and the layers and how she's wearing it and whatnot. And it's going to look great. I love the, the Miss Marvel costume. I, I do really like Miss Marvel. She's cool as fuck. I really enjoyed her. In the, even the Avengers game was a bit, yeah. I enjoyed her in the, the, the Avengers game. So, Coke, this is where I'd usually say, Chris talks so I can have a, a swag of swag of the drink. Car outside, shut the fuck up. Ah, oh my god, glass bottle of Coke, so beautiful. But yeah, this this was a, 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 a typically what I'd like to say about this series. Uh, but this was another fun episode. It, it was, um, 
It was good. It, it ended with a bit of a heavier tone. We, we finally get to see what happened because she's fighting, obviously, um, amongst the gins and stuff. And we see her sort of get like teleported, transported to this th this train that's obviously going to lead her or show her to, you know, all the answers that she needs about the bangle and who she is and her lineage and, you know, what she really is and stuff. Um, but it was, it was a nice, fun episode. Again, another sort of coming in age, sort of exploring and finding oneself and who you really are because she goes back to... Uh, um, the birth, well, she goes back to the home of her mother and her grandmother and stuff. Her nanny, I think they call them. Um, I think she, she, she my nanny. It's a nanny. Hiya, nanny. Um, and exploring all of that. Her mother gets to talk more about her relationship as well with her mother. Uh, and we get to see her meet, the, you know, the Red Daggers. But then also being a bit of a teenager on the beach with all the kids. Uh, playing the, you know, the guys playing the guitar and everything. He was, he was corny. I mean, he was smooth. Don't get me wrong. If I was there... You know, I, I would be very influenced by his beautiful, beautiful eyes, but he was very, very corny. Everyone just sat there chilling with their, whatever the food was. When, when, when she went, is it spicy? And the lad's like, yeah. I'd be like, yeah, it's not for me. Then I don't do other spice. But um, I did really enjoy uh, her going around and exploring the city. And I did like the chase scene uh, through the city. I thought that was really cool because obviously it's not a uh, typical city like you'd get in here in the UK, like fucking Carlisle or Manchester or whatever. It's more louder and vibrant and busier and uh, a little bit more full of colour and, and energy. Um, even when she gets she gets there at the airport, it's, it's very, very busy. There's obviously a lot of people there. Um, and it's very, um, uh, yeah, I think the best word is it's very noisy. But I, I'm still exploring uh, and finding out who Kamala Khan is, uh, this MCU version, and I'm enjoying her exploring every aspect of her life. Um, it was quite cool as well. I was wondering when uh, her nanny rang her, the other episode, episode three, she's like, you need to come here. She's like, oh, okay. And I was thinking, oh, I wonder how she's going to do. Is she going to bang it to her mum? Is she, what's going to happen? And they're like, oh, no, so we're just on the plane, worry. I'm like, all right, okay, no worries. <laughs> she, she must have rang her, Kamala's mother, and been like, yeah, you need to come over as well. Uh, I miss seeing Bruno. I love Bruno. I love, we saw Bruno, mostly Bruno for Newcastle because he's a beast. Um, but I miss seeing Bruno. Uh, but yeah, the the episode was, was very fun. I know I keep saying that visuals, but... Because this, let's let's be honest, this show isn't absolutely blowing anything out of the water. It's not absolutely killing it, but it's 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 harmless. It's it's it literally is a nice bit of fun. I'm very charmed by it. I'm very charmed by Kamala. I'm very charmed by her story and how she approaches, you know, the, what's going on and her new abilities and who she is and stuff. I'm I'm very charmed by it. On I, I am enjoying. It. I'm looking forward to see how she integrates with fellow future Avengers or young Avengers or, or whatever other, you know, the Marvels, whatever um, future they hold for her inside of the MCU. I'm curious to see how she settles there because you got to remember as well, she's a very young kid. I know uh, Spider-Man, Peter Parker is a very young kid as well, but um, he seems to be a bit more weathered. Obviously, Kamala Khan, this is all new. She hasn't really, as of yet anyway, had like a big, major, major epic fight. She's had fights so far, but not like a Thanos level threat and stuff. So when they eventually line up against whoever it is in the future, Khan, a Galactus, uh, uh, an, an Annihilus, whoever it, the fuck they want to do, it's going to be interesting to see her lining up and in, in, uh, seeing what's going to happen. But I'm looking forward to it. The show, the show gets a nice solid 8 still. Uh, I can't remember if I keep rating it 10 or not. I, I love being a Mr. Optimistic. But I have to be honest, it's not the greatest show I've ever seen. But it's, that doesn't mean it's it's the worst. It's just a nice, fun show. That's the best way to say it. Another Coke break. I also enjoy um, uh, enjoyed the, the, the relationship between her and mum as well on the plane. And the lads in the middle trying to read the newspaper. and Because uh, obviously... Her mother's very, uh, very, very overprotective. I remember she kicked off when Kamala went to AvengerCon, and I'm thinking, why are you kicking off? It's not like she's going out and smoking and meeting boys and that. Oh, she is meeting the boy, Bruno, but it's not like she's doing it. She's, do she's doing one of the nerdiest things you can do. Usually, if you're like, oh, where are you sneaking off to? I'm going to a convention. Oh, um, oh, okay. No, it's like, I'm going out to a party, mom. I'm going to, there's going to be guys, and there's going to be alcohol. I might not come home tomorrow until tomorrow. It's not like that, you know what I mean? So her mother's a little bit... No, again, her, obviously, there's more that her mother knows about the past. And it's obviously something to do with that, that she's not willing to quite say or do or whatever yet. I'm sure this will be unlocked, but... Yeah, her mother a bit like, hey, I let her chill. She wants to go see the Avengers. Well, cosplay Avengers. <laughs> but anyway, visuals. Um, yeah, the episode, great. 8 out of 10.
the, the fight sequence great the um exploration that we got to, to a, a new location inside of the world of miss marvel uh, i've literally you can't see it but i've just flipped my shirt up and my my, my fat belly and under boobs quite literally as this current moment of time that you're listening to this it's it's out for the world to see uh, and yes yeah, so if somebody could ever decode this video take the gif away you'll see i think fat man because that's for me. Um, but I am so down for where we go in the future. And again, uh, She-Hulk around the corner. So we need to see what happens there. Um, yeah. It's it's full of heart and emotion, this this series. But it's not exactly on the epic scale. I think that's the best way to say it. But visuals, that's ten minutes. Uh, I, I always like to try and get this sort of podcast short. Because I'm a fat moron. But visuals, thank you so much for watching. You guys are at your best. You remember what's keeping you? And keep on. Oh, keep it on.